Hello guys, today I am going to discuss a very interesting case which you will see in an orthopedic clinic on not a very uh, frequent basis. Uh, this is a condition in which a patient reports difficulty in pronation or supination. So, patient will complain, he can bend it, he can make it straight, but when it comes to rotation like if you are trying to open a door or key of a door, he will struggle. So, this condition uh, is called uh, radio ulnar synostosis, it is not a very common condition and I will tell you uh, what are the symptoms and how to diagnose it. So now I have got Rohit who is a 17 year old boy and his uh, relative he tells me that he is having problem with his uh, left elbow since childhood and uh, he initially saw an orthopedic surgeon who said you know wait until skeletal maturity. So he is presenting to me uh, with difficulty uh, in doing some day to day activities especially from the left elbow. So if I, if I, if you look at his elbow, looking from the front, this elbow is completely straight. So normal elbow, you will be able to get your elbow straight or supinate completely. Here you can see this elbow is in mid prone position. So it's not going, it's not like normal alignment. So first thing you will notice is different alignment in both the elbows. Secondly, if you ask him to bend and bend, so flexion will be normal in these cases. Extend, so this is the normal extension. This is almost normal. So if you look from the side, his elbow is slightly flexed. So usually the range of motion, flexion to extension is not that uh, greatly affected. Uh, but the problem with these patients is activities which require pronation and supination, they usually struggle. So for example, if, you're, if you want to write something, you will have to pronate. So, pronation is still okay uh, because they can do some compensatory movement. But when it comes to supination like eating food, if he tries to eat food, put this hand to the mouth and put this hand to the mouth, you can see he is struggling. So, they will not be able to eat. So, these kind of activities in which there is involvement of pronation and supination, they will struggle. For example, if he has to open a locked door, he will struggle. So, I have shown you the flexion and extension is normal. However, here if you see supination is full, pronation is full. In this side, if you see, there is, I am trying hard, there is no movement. So, no supination and no pronation. So, this is absolutely rigid. So, when you have such dramatic restriction of pronation and supination and you are trying and it is not moving and elbow range of motion is normal, then you must think about congenital radio ulnar synostosis. So this is uh, this gentleman's x-ray. Once you suspect this is the problem, then uh, do get an AP and lateral view. And if you see this joint surface, this joint surface is not the usual round kind of joint surface. This humerus is not the normal humerus. If you draw the line from radius, it is not going up to the capitulum. So all these findings are suggestive of that this is something congenital and if you see you will usually see a bowing and if you see here this is all the radius and ulna are fused together. So this is the typical appearance you will see usually it is bilateral in around 60 percent of the cases. It is slightly more commoner in males. Um, if you look at the AP again it shows dysmorphic changes. So you do not see the normal capitulum, you do not see the normal radius but you can see this is all stuck together. So this is how uh, this condition uh, presents. Now, in terms of treatment, you know, I usually tell them that do not do anything because uh, doing anything in terms of excision uh, does not guarantee any range of motion and it, in fact, it can uh, be uh, counterproductive. So, uh, my usual treatment is unless it is bothering in the day to day activities too much, I usually refrain from any surgical intervention in these cases. So, this was an exciting case who presented in my clinic. So, I thought I will share it with you. Hopefully, this will help you in your uh, clinical practice. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and please do subscribe and do share our channel. Thank you.